Caillou was at the beach with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. Daddy was going to take him exploring. Ready to explore the rock pools, Caillou? Where did the rock pools come from? They weren't here last time. They were, Caillou. You just couldn't see them because they were hidden under the sea. When the tide goes out, little bits of the sea are left among the rocks, including any sea creatures that were hiding there. Caillou wasn't sure he liked the sound of hidden sea creatures. But what if we find something scary, like a big shark? Don't worry, Caillou. There won't be any sharks. Follow me. You promise? I promise, Caillou. But be careful. Some of these rocks might be a little slippery. Have fun, Caillou, and be careful. Rosie and I are going to write a message in the sand to show you when you get back. Okay, mommy. See anything in this one, Caillou? Caillou looked very carefully, but he couldn't see any creatures. No, it's empty. It's okay. Let's keep exploring. What about this one? I saw something. It was a shark. <laughs> I don't think it was a shark, Caillou. Come and take another look. Caillou looked again. It wasn't a shark after all. Oh, it's just a little fish. And look, there's another one and another. There's too many to count. The fish will be able to get back to the sea once the tide comes back, won't they? That's right, Caillou. You're a very good explorer. Shall we see what else we can find? Caillou waved goodbye to the fish and went off in search of more creatures. Caillou was taking extra careful steps. He didn't want to slip over and get his shorts wet. Wow, Caillou, come and see this. At the bottom of the pool, Caillou saw something very strange. Daddy. That's not a creature. It's just a flower. But flowers don't grow under water, do they? It may look a bit like a flower, Caillou, but it's actually a little animal called a sea anemone. An anemone? An anemone? Anemone? Anemone. Anemone. You got it. Caillou thought the sea anemone was the strangest thing he'd ever seen. Daddy, help! It's got me. <laughs> Hold still, Caillou. It's not trying to hurt you. See, it's just a friendly sea snail. It felt really slimy. <laughs> Daddy, look over there. Well spotted, Caillou. It's a little crab. Caillou liked how the crab moved from side to side. It was dancing. Look, Daddy, I'm a crab. Crabs can live on the land and in the sea. Want to take a closer look? Yes, please. Careful, Daddy. It's okay, Caillou. I just gotta try and avoid his claws. Does it hurt, Daddy? No, not really. He's only very small. Of all the sea creatures Caillou had seen that day, the crab was his absolute favorite. Well, we better get going, Caillou. The tide will be coming back soon, and we don't want to get wet feet. Goodbye, Mr. Crab. Mommy. Oh, hey, Caillou. So, how were the rock pools? I saw all kinds of sea creatures. My favorite was the crab. Look. That's great, Caillou. Well, Rosie and I were busy too. Wow, that's your name, Rosie, and that one's my name. I've been teaching Rosie her letters. That's great, Rosie. <laughs> Don't worry, Rosie. Now all the sea creatures I met will be able to read our names too. Oh no, a crab! <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> snap! Snap! 
saw you loved meeting all of the sea creatures in the rock pools. Learning at the beach was lots of fun. Caillou and his friends were at the park. Caillou was very excited because today they were going to play soccer. Okay, everyone, are we ready to play some soccer? We're ready, Grandpa. Are you going to be on our team? No, I'm going to be the referee. It's my job to make sure everyone plays by the rules and has fun. I'm going to score a hundred goals. You just might, Leo. But the most important thing is that we all play as a team. The first thing we need to do, though, is to warm up a little. Caillou was a little confused. Warm up? But it's not even cold. This is a different kind of warm up, Caillou. We do it to warm up our muscles. Look, copy what I do. First, we touch our toes. After that, we reach up to the sky. Then we do a twist to the right, and then a twist to the left. And then finally, we rotate our hips around like this. That's it, Rosie. We're warming up. Caillou thought warming up was lots of fun. There, finished. Now you're warmed up and ready to play. Let's go. Good luck, Caillou. Okay, everybody ready? Three, two, one. Caillou dribbled the ball down the field. He wanted to score a goal. Over here, Caillou. Pass to me. I'm open, Caillou. Caillou could hear Sarah and Leo calling, but he wanted to score a goal himself. <laughs> Caillou was very unhappy. He was the one who was supposed to score. Come on, Caillou. Your teammates need you. It's not fair, Grandpa. I wanted to score a goal. Soccer is a team game, Caillou. You, Sarah, Leo, and Clementine have to work as a team and score a goal together. Watch. Let me show you. Okay, Caillou. Let's see if I can get the ball. Oh no! Now Leo has the ball. You see, if you work together as a team, it makes it much easier. Caillou saw that they all had to work as a team. Okay, Grandpa. I think we're ready to play again now. Great. Caillou dribbled the ball towards the goal again. Pass, Caillou! Over here! Caillou stopped dribbling and passed the ball to Leo. Hooray! Hooray! Great job, guys! That was a great goal, Sarah! Thanks, Caillou! We all did it together! Caillou chased after the ball, but it was hard to catch. The other team was passing it around all over the place. Oh no! Great save, Clementine! Thanks! Clementine kicked the ball high into the air, and Caillou and Leo chased after it as fast as they could run. Get ready, Caillou! This was Caillou's chance. He took aim and kicked the soccer ball right into the goal. We did it! We scored another goal! Great job, team. That was a very good goal you scored, Caillou. It wasn't just me, Grandpa. We all had to work as a team. Okay, team. Ready to go again? Yeah! Grandpa looked around for the ball, but he couldn't see it. Hey, has anyone seen the soccer ball? <laughs> Rosie, come back! 
Caillou was very happy to have scored a goal, but was even happier to be in a team with all his friends. It was a bright sunny day, and Caillou was playing in his backyard. Giddy up, horsey! <laughs> Caillou heard someone laughing in the yard next door. There was a little girl he didn't know. Hi, my name is Caillou. Do you want to play with me? Hola, my name is Isabel. See, si, Caillou. Isabel used strange words. Caillou didn't understand everything she said. My mommy got me some new marbles. Que? Caillou sat down and rolled his marbles out across the grass. You can be the red marbles and I will be the blue ones. Rojo! Caillou hadn't heard that word before. He liked how it sounded. Rojo? <laughs> when the game was over, Isabel pulled a small white toy bunny from her pocket. Caillou was very curious. Wow! Do you want to be my friend? Isabel smiled and nodded to Caillou. She touched his cheek with Bunny. See, si, but first you have to save me from that scary dragon. Dragon? <laughs> That's Gilbert. No, it's the scary dragon and the treasure. You'll need a sword like mine. Caillou was excited. He knew that together they could defeat any dragon. Charge! Caillou, what are you doing? Me and Princess Isabel are fighting the dragon! Oh, you have so much imagination, Caillou. This is Princess Isabel. She lives in the red castle next door. Well, it's nice to meet you, Isabel. Now come on, Caillou. It's time for dinner, and I think Gilbert needs a rest. At dinner, Caillou told everyone about his adventure with Princess Isabel. And then the dragon roared! Roar! Roar! Caillou, please don't talk with your mouth full. Isabel had a funny word for the marbles. Rojo! <laughs> no, Caillou. Rojo means red in Spanish. She was telling you what the color of the marble was. Why does she speak Spanish? Because Isabel is from Spain. I met her parents today. They're going back home to Spain tomorrow. Spain? Where is that? Well, this is where we are. And this is where Isabel lives. But that's really far away. I don't want her to go. Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to lose his new friend. Don't worry, Caillou. Just because Isabel is going back to Spain doesn't mean you two can't stay friends. Why don't you give her something to remember you by? That gave Caillou an idea. The next day it was time for Caillou to say goodbye to Isabel. I got you a present, Isabel, so you don't forget me. Rojo! Uh, gracias, Caillou. Bunny will help you beat the dragon. Wow! Adios, Caillou. Adios, Isabel! A few days later, Caillou was finishing off his adventure. But it wasn't as fun without Isabel. I have a special surprise for you on the computer. Caillou was very excited, so he rushed to the computer. But when he got there, the screen was blank. He was very confused. Hola, Caillou! Isabel! Isabel held up the red marble Caillou had given her, and Caillou held up the white bunny she had given to him. He was very happy to see his friend again. 
It was Halloween, and Caillou was very excited because he loved to dress up. Caillou, can you guess what Halloween costume I've made for you? Hmm, a firefighter? No, guess again. An astronaut! No, have another guess. Caillou thought very hard. What could Mommy have made him for Halloween? I know! A magical wizard! <laughs> Mommy had made him a wizard costume. She helped him put it on. <laughs> Something is missing. Daddy came in holding a funny pretend beard and a spooky looking book. Don't forget your hat and spell book. Ah, yes. Are you ready to make some magic, Caillou? Almost, Daddy. Abracadabra. Yes, Rosie. I have your clown costume ready here. Rosie saw the clown costume and suddenly she didn't want to dress up and go out. No. You don't want to go trick-or-treating? No! Caillou is really surprised. He didn't think the clone costume was scary, but Rosie did. Maybe Rosie's scared to go out trick-or-treating. I'll stay home with her while you and Daddy go out. I'll bring back some extra candy for her. Caillou and Daddy left the house. It was dark and spooky outside. There were jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Daddy, it's a bit scary out here. Don't worry, Caillou. I'm right here. Caillou walked closely next to Daddy. Let's go to Mr. Hinkle's house first. Caillou walked up to Mr. Hinkle's front door and Daddy waited at the foot of the stairs. Trick or treat! Hello there. It's not every day I get a visit from a magical wizard. What a nice surprise, Caillou. I hope you don't turn me into a frog. Caillou was <laughs> happy Mr. Hinkle recognized him. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Where's Rosie? Rosie was a bit too scared, so she stayed at home with Mommy. Well, you make sure she gets some of these sweets too, okay? Children in all kinds of costumes ran from house to house. Who was that girl dressed up as a fairy? And who was the Frankenstein monster she was talking to? Look at me, Caillou. I'm a scary <laughs> monster. And I'm a wizard. That monster is Leo. And Clementine's a fairy. Oh, my. You all look great. Look at all my treats. Clementine, Leo, and Caillou all compared their bags of candy. Wow, that's a lot. Caillou, Leo, and Clementine decided to go to the rest of the houses together. Trick or treat! They collected lots of treats, and soon their bags were full of goodies. It's time to go home now. Oh no, not yet! I have an idea. We can do one last trick or treat. Oh! <laughs> Caillou, Clementine, and Leo walked up to the front door of Caillou's house. Trick or treat! Who do we have here? A wizard, a monster, and a fairy. Rosie was still a little frightened. Rosie, it's me! Caillou! Rosie started <laughs> giggling. She wasn't afraid of dressing up anymore. Happy Halloween! <laughs> <laughs> it was a cold, rainy day, and Caillou was playing in his room. 
blast off! But Caillou really wanted to go outside. What's wrong, Caillou? I wish the rain would stop so I could go outside and play Space Ranger. Well, why don't you play Space Rangers here in the house? But I don't have a spaceship. You and Rosie could make one out of this old cardboard box. Caillou thought for a moment. He wasn't sure he'd be able to make a spaceship out of a boring old box. I'll go and get some things for you to decorate it with. Caillou couldn't decide whether to make a rocket, a spaceship, or a flying saucer. Rocket! I think you are right, Rosie. Let's make a rocket! Caillou and Rosie splatted paint, stuck down colored paper, and made the old box into the best rocket they had ever seen. You can't go into space without special helmets. Thanks, Mommy! Now we look like real Space Rangers! As soon as the paint was dry, it was time to blast off. It's time to go now, Rosie. We have 10 seconds until liftoff. We need to get into the rocket. 10! Wow! 9! Buckle in, Rosie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. 8! All systems are go! Seven! Blast off! Rosie! We weren't ready! Ah! Whee! Soon, they were on a strange alien planet. Suddenly, Caillou spotted something moving behind a nearby rock. Hello? Who's there? Caillou thought the alien looked familiar, but he couldn't work out who. Hello! I'm Space Ranger Caillou, and this is Rosie. Kitty! No, Rosie, that's an alien! Suddenly, the alien jumped forward towards them and grabbed Teddy from Space Ranger Caillou. Teddy! Uh-oh, we have to get him back, Rosie! Come on! Caillou and Rosie ran as fast as they could, but they couldn't catch the alien. Get back here with Teddy! Teddy, come back! have a plan! We have to get him onto the ship! Rosie! Teddy! The alien ran onto the ship, scared of the heroic space ranger. Caillou's plan had worked. Caillou tried to pull Teddy from the alien's grip, but he held on tight. Give Teddy back! I did it! What are you two doing? I thought you'd be outside now that the rain has stopped. We've been on a space adventure, Daddy! Caillou and Rosie had so much fun on their space adventure, they jumped straight back into their ship and blasted off again. Every morning, Caillou watched for the big yellow school bus that drove down his street. He always saw lots of children waiting for it. 
Caillou's friend Sarah hopped onto the bus and took a seat. She saw Caillou sitting by the window. What's wrong, Caillou? I really, really, really want to go on the big yellow school bus. When can I go on the bus like all the other big kids? Not long. Only one more birthday and you'll be old enough. That's such a long time. I want to go on the bus now. Here's an idea. Why don't we go and talk to the bus driver tomorrow morning? If you ask nicely, the driver might let you ride the bus. Caillou was still a little sad, but at least he'd get to see the bus up close. The next morning, Caillou and Daddy were waiting for the school bus. Here it comes! The bus driver pulled up and opened the door. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Caillou stood behind Daddy. He was a bit shy. This is Caillou. He'll be going to school next year. Really? That means you'll be joining my bus. What is your name? Well, they call me Mr. Billy, the bus driver. I really, really, really want to go on the bus. I can't take you on the bus ride today because the bus is full. But you and your daddy can join me tomorrow. How does that sound? Yay! I can't wait! The next morning, Caillou was so excited about the bus ride, he couldn't stop thinking about it. I heard someone is going on a bus ride today. I'm so excited, Mommy! I want to make something special for Mr. Billy, the bus driver, to thank him. Maybe you should draw him something. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He picked up his colored pencils and a piece of paper. That's me driving the school bus. What a wonderful drawing, Caillou. When breakfast was done, Caillou and Daddy met Sarah at the bus stop. Are you going on the school bus, Caillou? Caillou nodded proudly. He felt like a big boy. The bus pulled up in front of them and Mr. Billy opened the door. Jump on, Caillou. We can't be late for our route. Caillou climbed onto the bus with his daddy. Caillou and daddy sat right behind Mr. Billy on the bus. Caillou felt like the bus driver, too. Caillou waved at each boy and girl that came onto the bus. Riding the big yellow school bus was lots of fun. Stop, start, stop, start. The bus picked up more and more children. Mr. Billy drove them all to the school. At the school, the children got off, all except Caillou. Mr. Billy, I drew you something. Wow, what a great drawing. Is that you driving the bus? Caillou nodded. He was very proud of his drawing. Wonderful. I'm going to put it up right here for everyone to see. Time to head home. Caillou didn't want his ride on the school bus to end. He was having so much fun. But when he saw Mommy and Rosie waiting for him, Caillou was glad to be home. Did you see me, Mommy? I sure did. Did you remember to thank Mr. Billy? Thank you, Mr. Billy. I had so much fun today. Me too, Caillou. Thanks for joining me today. I have something special to give you as well. Mr. Billy handed Caillou a little yellow school bus toy. Now you have your own little yellow bus that you can drive any day you want. Whoa! I love it! Thank you, Mr. Billy. Caillou waved to the bus as it pulled away. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Billy. See you soon. Caillou couldn't wait to be older so he could get on the school bus every day. It was summer vacation. Caillou and his family were going to the beach. Caillou couldn't wait to see what the ocean was like. Are we there yet? Almost, Caillou. When you can see the ocean, you know we are nearly there. I want to go swimming and build the biggest sandcastle ever! Don't forget about the ice cream. Ice cream was Caillou's favorite. 
He couldn't wait to taste all the different flavors. Ooh, yummy! Yummy! <laughs> <gasps> there it is! I can see the ocean! When they finally arrived, Caillou jumped straight out of the car. He ran down to the beach. It's hot on my toes! Don't worry, Caillou. It's just the heat from the sun warming up the sand. It won't hurt you. Caillou was surprised that the sand was hot, but he enjoyed wiggling his toes in it. Wow! The ocean! The ocean went on forever. It was the biggest thing Caillou had ever seen. Caillou, it's very sunny, and that means we need to put on lots of sunscreen and wear your hat so you don't get burnt. Caillou <laughs> giggled and tried to get away, but Mommy held on tight. She covered him all over with sunscreen. It tickled. Daddy set up the umbrella, and Mommy put Rosie down in the shade. Caillou didn't want to sit around. He wanted to do something fun. Who wants to go swimming? Me! 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 Caillou took Daddy's hand. Together, they ran towards the water. Brr, the water is cold. It's all right once you get used to it. Caillou and Daddy were having lots of fun splashing about in the water. Suddenly, a big wave knocked Daddy down. <laughs> Caillou thought Daddy looked funny covered in seaweed. <laughs> then another big wave came and took Caillou by surprise. He didn't like being under the water. Don't worry, Caillou. Let's be careful to not go too deep and watch for the waves coming together, okay? <laughs> hey, you two. Time for lunch. Daddy and Caillou were now very hungry after dodging the waves. Caillou had a sandwich, an apple, and some lemonade for his lunch. Yummy. Caillou picked up his sandwich and took a big bite, but it was full of sand. Ugh! Oh, it's all sandy! I can't eat this! A nearby seagull swooped down and stole the sandy sandwich. Hey, come back! That's mine! Don't worry, Caillou. We can get some ice cream instead. After lunch, Daddy took Caillou to the ice cream shop. There were so many flavors, all different colors. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. I want to try all of them. <laughs> Why don't you choose one flavor for today and then a different one next time? Okay, but how do I choose when there are so many? The friendly ice cream seller let Caillou try a few flavors to make sure he picked his favorite. Mmm, I like that one. Daddy bought four ice creams and they went back to find Mommy and Rosie. Want to show Rosie how to build a sandcastle, Caillou? Caillou was very excited and grabbed a bucket and spade. Look, Rosie, you take the bucket and go like this. Rosie giggled and clapped her hands. Sandcastles were the most fun of all. Wow, that looks great. But no castle is complete without a flag. Suddenly, Caillou felt water splashing against his feet. The ocean had moved closer, and the castle was washing away. Oh no! The waves are ruining my sandcastle! How did they get here? Because the tide makes the ocean go higher and lower, so the waves come further up the beach. The tide is coming in now, so that means it's time for us to go home, Caillou. 
But what about my sandcastle? Don't worry. We can come back another day, so you and Rosie can build an even bigger one. Mommy and Daddy gathered up all their things and headed for the car. I want to come back tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. This is the best vacation ever! Caillou and his family had a great day at the beach, but he really couldn't wait for his next adventure.